All right, guys, this is not a video I wanted to make. I'm going to close out Facebook really quick and TCG player, but... So, this man, uh, Mr. Joby Jacob 62 is a guy who likes to comment and talk a lot of crap on YouTube, which typically I don't like making videos about. But the man went to my channel and commented on the test hand video from the other day, Brick Magician deck is so bad, it's good. Neither one of my hands break, and then he starts talking like a freaking anime villain. Like, you channeled your inner jaw of fate. I'm proud Loza taught you how to use probability of luck as a dual skill. It's not fucking dueling. I kind of roast him down there, too. And, it's, and first off, like, Loza hasn't taught me shit. Okay, well, he has through his videos, but directly, like, even though I talk to Loza on a somewhat consistent basis, like, it's not like we have fucking like, fucking like lessons in college or some shit. Like we all learn from each other and we all learn different stuff from each other. But it's all like his, his comment just doesn't even make any sense. But it's like his only claim to be good at the deck and his oh yeah explain this has nothing to do with anything we've talked about. You can read these messages. I'm not going to read them to you. But if we click on this link. Leaving my creator studio. Oh, something went wrong. And I know what video it is. It's this one. It's a, like, four-second clip of him beating a Shizu tier limit. And honestly, I mean, cool. And we're going to play it. The only audio is sh from a ship mic. And it's when a Dark Magician deck beats an actual tier zero deck. Bistio Shizu tier limit sprites. Like, <laughs> the fuck? The M is on the rise. Let's go, question mark. Oh my god, it's so crazy. And he's playing Joel for cards, like Magician's Restates. Like, oh my god. Don't play Restates. Let's play Monster Reborn. But not the point. I mean, his claim is he beat a Shizu tier limit, which, I mean, the guy could have disconnected. He could have done anything. But I'm not going to take that from him, because, you know, we've all beat a Shizu tier. Right? We all have. So now let's go to, uh,. Joby's channel one more time here. We're going to look at his Slifer Dark Magician deck. Which is the majority of the videos on his channel talks about Dark Magician Slifer. Alright. That's the majority of the shit. Let's go to this one. Advil. Because he commented another video and sent me a link to this. And yet it all plays into freaking the test hand. Not even a combo. Uh, is it this video? No, it is not. Uh, one of these videos has his deck list linked in the description. Might be this. Yep, here it is. So, we are going to look at this first place tournament, Dark Magician Slifer Branded, or Slifer Branded Magic first place tournament rogue deck. $481, which, I mean, might be true, but I'm going to tell you right now, this deck did not win first place in anything except being cringe and being like the worst deck I've ever reviewed. All right, after a slight edit, because I actually clicked on an ad, here is the first place tournament deck. And there's several, several, several things wrong with this deck. Let's go into it. One Dark Magician, which in Branded DM, I play one too. But you're not playing Mana to do the main Branded DM combo line. Which ends on Mirror Jade and Dragoon. Which is the best thing Branded DM can do. And you're playing the Bureau, which, I mean, it's, it's okay right now. I'd probably side it, unless you're playing Invoked. One Slifer to Brick. I wouldn't play the Slifer stuff in DM without Diviner or Beatrice, which, guess what? He's not playing. Two Aluber, which makes sense, but if you're going to play two Aluber, you may as well play three Rod, but you're only on one and one Albaz. You're not going to normal summon Albaz if you're running it as a one of. So you're on three normal summons, which is okay. Uh, three Droll. Droll's good against Flu, so you could say, okay, main deck. Him. One Magician Souls? Are you high? Souls is always a 3 of, and it's not like you have to send DM or DMG. You're playing 3 Illusion of Chaos, and you're on 1 Souls. Play 3 Souls, 2 or 3 Illusion of Chaos. If you're only going to play 2 Aluber and Brand of DM, play 3 Rod. It's not that hard. Like, shit. 1 Circles, not a big deal. Salvation's fine. 3 Brand of Fusion's pretty stock standard. Cross Spell. Prosperity is not good in Dark Magician. It's not. 
especially in Branded DM, because you're getting the draw two off Soul Servant, especially right now where Ash is, or Hand Traps in general, except Biss Deals, aren't super prevalent. You should be drawing two off Soul Servant pretty consistently. So you don't really need Prosperity. You, you could play it, but it's not that great in this deck. One prep is just stupid. Like, there's no point in playing one. The point of even playing prep is to play five, which in a 40-card deck, you'd see at least one in your opening hand nine times out of ten. Or at least a lot of the time, not necessarily nine times out of ten, but most of the time. So you're playing four, and you're playing weird. I've played four, but I've played two and two, because prep's not once per turn. You can brick on the Illusion of Chaos, but you can't brick on prep. Like, come on, Joby. You claim to be a master at the deck, but you don't understand simple math? Three the true name, I guess, to search Slifer, but you're... Okay, if you're going to play an Egyptian God Dark Magician deck, you need to max out on Soul Servant and two Circle. But you can max out on three Circle in an Egyptian God Dark Magician deck if you saw the true name. Just so you always know what's on top if you wanted to, right? It's a casual fun deck. Woo. But not playing one and no Soul Servant? Like, are you just guessing all the fucking... No, I, I, hope, it's, I hope it's called by... Uh, I and mean, you don't get to do anything, like, <laughs> it's so bad. Branded in Red, Branded in Red is kind of weird in Branded DM, I prefer to field spell, because it's a more generic secret to dark magic, and Branded in Red, while well, you can use it on your opponent's turn, which makes it really good, the odds that comes up in Branded Dark Magician isn't super high, and your only targets for it is Masquerade and Cordis. Typically Masquerade. Well, I mean, you could do Cordis, but you couldn't do Cordis because you're only on one Albaz. If they Imperm or Veil or your freaking uh, Albaz or negate your first Branded Fusion. Uh, not necessarily if they negate Branded Fusion, but if they negate uh, your Lebellion because you're not on Albion because you're not very smart. The rest of your Branded Fusion, your Alubras, and your Opening's dead. Like, you have to play two Albaz. It's not like... It's not like Ref. Ref, you play one with one Red Eyes. It's fine. It's not the same type of card. You know, it, it is, but isn't. You have to play two bricks with Brand of Fusion. You can play one of Red Eyes Fusion. One opening, I guess you could say that's Dirt Luber, but it's really not. Because you have to discard a card, and you're not really playing a whole bunch of cards that are good off being discarded. And also, you're not drawing a whole lot, so your hand's going down. Also, you're making Labellion, which means your hand's going to go down even more. But no, you're on three opening. Okay. So maybe that makes sense. Only saw the one. I'll give you that. You're on five, which isn't bad, but I mean, again, you're still just discarding a lot. It's not like you're recycling your resources. Prosperity is only getting you one card. And you're only playing one Magician Souls. One Eternal Souls, fine. Uh, evenly match, just no, it should be down here. You wouldn't side deck an Artemis, by the way. And you definitely wouldn't fucking side deck Pot of Duality, your special summoning all the time. You get to swap this for Evenly Match and put something else in here. Also, you wouldn't side deck Foolish Burial, and you don't even really have anything for Foolish Burial to fucking send. Are you sending a Luber to use the Grave Effect? Or maybe Dark Magician, but then your Brain of Fusion is alive, so, like, what are you doing? You're not making two Masquerade here. I don't see how you're ever making two masquerades. Uh, Proskinian you probably won't make because you're not on Super Poly and you don't really have a way to fuse other than Brandon or Red. And while you're having a Luber in the grave, which you're not going to have, or Albaz in the grave, and if you're making Labellion, you're shuffling him back. Even Albion, you're banishing him. So, not sure why that's there. Two Chimera, you're never going to resolve two Chimera, especially if one Brandon Red. Just, just cut, cut these two. Dragonite, Master, Chaos, those are fine. Well, Master Chaos isn't fine because you can't fucking make it. How are you making Master Chaos? You're not going to use Brandon and Red to make Master of Chaos. Like, just no. Unless you're playing Secrets or the Despia Field Spell, just, just no. So far, you have two good cards. Two Mirror Jade is fine. You would play two Dragoon, one Labellion. You do not need two. You're not making Brigand, you're not even playing McCurrier, so you're not resolving this, so just no. If you're going to play any Link, it's going to be Artemis, and so no Dark. You're not making two Masquerades, either one or one of these. So your extra deck's a fucking mess. Your side deck is weird. Silent Graveyard's fine. Lightning Storm, D-Shifter, Sphere Mode, sure, all that's fine, but Artemis, Foolish, 
In duality, need to go. This should not be in the main. And no, I would not replace it with pot of duality. Get the shit out of here. Like, it's so bad, Joby. And it, this is the only time you're going to get attention from me ever again. Don't come to my videos and tell me that I'm trash at a deck or my deck's a brick. When, look at this shit. This looks like a casual guy went out and bought a whole bunch of packs of, like, Battle of Chaos and Dawn of Majesty and... 10 packs and fucking jerked off in a can is what this looks like like this isn't good this deck's a brick fest just like evenly matches a brick going first is what you want to do nine times out of ten this is a brick this is a brick if you open more than one of it if you don't have a way to get slifer in a grave which i really don't see you having a way to do it um nibiru is also kind of a brick because if you're not playing Imperm, Sprite really doesn't have to respect it unless they're playing kind of awkwardly. Um, the third illusion of chaos, you can say it's a break because you should be on another prep. I mean, it's just not good. Like, don't don't copy this. Don't listen to Joey. Listen to me, Andrew Godsmith, Ryan Atlas, Zephyr War Games, Loza, all the people who are good at Dark Magician. Do not listen to Joby. In fuck, this is worse than Jewelifer. At least Jewelifer, you could. If Jolfer came out and said he's a casual, he'd probably get a lot less hate in the community. This? No. This is just shit. Do not listen to Joby. And this is where the video will end.